to be broken before you can use it? What has to be broken before you can use it? No idea. An egg. Oh, oh come on. All right. Can, you think you can get this last thing? Yeah. All right. What can you catch but never throw? A cold. She got one. Tia got our first riddle. Tia is the winner of the riddle round. Thank you so much. Let me know if you guys got any that our staff didn't get because I have to say this was a poor demonstration of our staff's brilliantness today. But that's okay. Thank you so much for coming, Tia. All right. I am going to bring Tasia back up. What? Well. We had a slight technical problem and the intro didn't happen, but it was so good. Oh, I no. think we need the intro plural we? one more time. Okay, because like, everything is like, live it's like It what really made it, but like it didn't like go because I forgot to click a button. Oh no, alright, so, our intro wasn't brought in, so I'm gonna get the tech guy to do our music, and because our staff worked so hard on getting a great intro, we are gonna do it again. Alright, so pretend that this is our intro, and I'm gonna get off set. And go! Why? From New Amber! And CNBC TV! And I am Elaine, your camp director! And if you didn't know, CNBC TV stands for Camp FBC! And then TV is obviously television. Now thank you, Mr. Tech Guy, for telling us that our intro got cut, so we did it extra for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Every day we're gonna have a bit of a cool intro. And now I'm going to invite Miss Tasia back up. Come on over, Tasia. And if you didn't know, some of you ordered our Camp FBC boxes. Now, of course, we can't have camp in person because of our regulations, but we did send out Camp FBC boxes. And I wanna open it with you guys today. So I'm going to give this to Tasia, and Tasia's going to open it and show us what's inside, and I'm gonna explain what they're there. So. What are we starting with, Tasia? I think we're starting with the shirt that comes on the side. We are starting with the Camp FBT t-shirt. Now, this was optional. Some people got it. Now, the Camp FBT is $5, and you can still get it if you want to, um, and that will be in future boxes. Perfect. So, if we got, you might have gotten a Camp FBT t-shirt in your box. What else could they have gotten in their box? Let's see here. And this would have been at your doorstep. So, if you've ordered one, check your doorstep if you haven't already. And what is this, Tia? Tasia. Oh my, Tasia. It's a pylon. We got a pylon. Now the pylon is going to be for one of our games, one of our crafts actually is today's craft, so make sure you have this handy. And what else is in the pylon? Goldfish snack pack and welches. Now actually, Tia's not here right now, but she did tell me that goldfish are her absolute favorite. So, goldfish and welches. Now, what else is in there? Do you want to? Yeah, we got a pencil. And we're gonna open up the box now. Now the box inside is tricky. You're gonna see three different color packages. Now this is really important. You wanna save one package per day. So one package for Monday, one package for Tuesday, and one package for Thursday. Okay, so can you show us the packages, Miss Tasia? Oh, the tape might be a little tricky. All right. So we have a red package, and red is for today. So I want you to take your red package and take it out. Now don't take out the other packages, I'm just gonna show you what they are. We also have a yellow package and a green package. So the yellow package is for Tuesday and the green package is for Thursday, all right? And then we also have, what else we have in there? We have four markers. And those are for you to keep. A paintbrush and glue. And that's for day two's craft. And we also have a little piece of paper that explains it and also shows you um, where you can go to find all of our recorded information. Now the last thing in the box is this part. Now Tasia, I'm gonna see if you can get our joke of the week. Are you ready? Now at home, do you know the joke of the week? Have you rejected it? So, why was the artist afraid he might go to jail? Why was the artist afraid he might go to jail? This is our joke of the week. I have no idea. Because he got framed. Uh, Come on, that's funny. It is pretty funny. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Tasia, you can head on out. Now, everyone, I want you to grab your red package, and we are going to show you a video about today's craft. So the tech guy is going to do that right now. But have your red package. 
Evan, what are we doing today? Today we're playing ring toss. Well, we gotta make it first. Oh, okay. So how do we make it? So you're gonna take your paper plate, you're gonna fold it, you're gonna take your scissors, uh, please have a parent nearby so you don't hurt yourself. You're gonna cut that. You're gonna cut, and then you cut the scissors on the plate. Just cut. Okay, so we're gonna cut it here on your plate, and then you can... Alright, and now we have to make it pretty because this is kind of boring. So we're going to use our markers and color it, but you can use beads or yarn or whatever you want. Make it look pretty. Yeah, and we're just going to start coloring it however you want. You can write on it if you want. And then once you finish coloring, then you're going to look something like this. And then you can play ring toss with it. So you just need two pylons. You can decorate your pylons to make those look pretty too. Yeah. You can be super creative with this. Do you want to play? Yeah, let's play. Okay. All right, you want to hand him another ring? Thank you. Okay, you ready? You go first. I guess every yeah, this round. But why don't you guys play at home and see who can win, the guys or the girls? See you next time. Bye. Hi, guys. Well, you saw Miss Tia and Evan do a great job explaining how to do the craft. So again, if you open it up, you are going to see paper. So you're going to have your paper plates. You're going to have your explanation on how to do the ring toss. Pretty simple, only three steps. You're going to have stickers that you can decorate the plates and the pylons with. And of course, you have your plates and your pylons. So that is our craft for today. If you do it, make sure you take pictures of it and send it to us or put it in the comment section because we want to see what the master's piece looks like. All right, I am going to have Miss Tia come out because there's a very special part. Come on out, Tia. On top of everybody's red, make sure it's the red one, you got a red ticket with a number on it. And Tia, you are going to pull out the ticket. But before we do, I've asked Evan if he had any jokes. Tia, do you have any good jokes for me? Yeah. <gasps> you do? Yeah. Oh, I love good jokes. Okay, everyone ready? These are my favorite. Go ahead, Tia. Okay, why do nurses always carry red crayons? Why do nurses always carry red crayons? I'm not sure. In case they have to draw blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. So if you have a parent that's a nurse, or if you're ever going to get a checkup, ask the nurse, do you have a red crayon on you? And tell the joke, that'll be What funny. happens if you just have a blue one? If you have a blue one, then then it's just sad. All right, now Miss Tia, can you do the honor of telling us who won the $5 gift card from today's ticket? Number. Wait. Say it really loud. Number six eight eight one four one. <gasps> okay. Now is that your number, Tia? Can you say it one more time, really loud? Listen really closely. See if this is your number. Six eight eight one four one. Okay. If that's your number, if you were called with this number because you got a box, let us know if you got it because we are going to give you a five dollar gift card to wherever you want within New Hamburg. We're trying to support local. So make sure if you've done that, you let us know because we can't read your mind. All right, perfect. Thanks so much, Tia. All right. Now, we have something very exciting. I'm going to call Evan back out. Can you, what important part of Camp FBC, which we all know, are the games, right? Whose favorite part is the games? I love the games, like capture the flag. I love when we do drip, drip, drop, all those things. And we can't do that with you right now, but me and Evan can do a game. Evan, hey. I'm going to give you something. Ooh, a spray bottle. A spray bottle. Now, spray bottles, you know what their purpose is? To spray cats. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> they are to spray. Now, normally you should not spray each other with it, but because we are camp at BC, we get you. So, what we are going to do is we are going to play rock, paper, scissors, and whoever loses gets squirted in the face with the squirt bottle. All right, so we're going to do, just to clarify, because this always gets confusing, 
you should know, don't try this at home. This is trained professionals. Oh yes, please don't try this at home. Only if you are trained Camp FBC staff may you squirt someone in the face. All right. So that's how it is. Now I'm going to clarify: is rock paper scissors shoot? Okay, it's not just rock, paper, scissors. I know this gets confusing. We've tried this at camp and we always have arguments whether it's rock, paper, scissors or rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It's rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, let me okay. put on my game face glasses. Oh, he's got his game face glasses. I'm gonna get my hat ready. This is my Gilligan hat also. This is from a couple years ago. All right, rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. No! That hat didn't work! Ah! Oh. Game face. Oh. Silver. 
and you win the gold medal. It is submit. True, false. One, two, three. It is true. That's An so Olympic fair. gold medal is actually made of silver. Who would have guessed? So the girls can put your feet down. That's so fair. Evan, for the next round, you must look like a chicken. Oh, on one foot? No, you can do two feet. Oh, okay. And can we hear your best chicken noise? Bok, 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 bok. I haven't seen that was kind of a sad noise, but we will go with it. All right. Our next question is, pigs cannot look up into the sky. True or false? Pigs cannot look up into the sky. True or false? In three, two, one. The answer is true. Pigs okay. cannot look up in the sky. So these girls are doing great, but Evan, you are not doing great. I, uh, yeah, For the okay. next round, you Four. must hop. You must hop the whole round. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the next question is, are pandas say clink? Pandas can say clink. True or false? One, two, three. I'm just... It is false. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at this. All right, Evan. For the next round, you can stop bouncing. You must do ballerina turn until the next question. You may start turning. Um, he will not be in charge of our ballerina camp. All right, next question. The word sandwich is named after a person. True or false? True or false in three, two, one. Evan, you got one right! Okay, for this next round, the girls must make their greatest fish face. Beautiful. This is our last question. A tiger has stripes on his skin. True or false? Is it on his skin? True or false? In three, two, one. It is true, so only she got it. And that means Evan and Tasia, what you must do for the last one is make your best yodeling noise. Evan, make a best yodel noise. <laughs> that is not a yodel. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was beautiful, Evan. All right, Tasia, a yodel noise. Yodel. <laughs> <laughs> and you have heard it here, folks. We have had yodel noises and fish sounds. We will see you for our next installment of the game show. Goodbye, everyone. Well, guys, I can safely say that I think that was one of my favorite things we've done yet is that game show. And I have a tip of advice. If you are ever doing a game show with Evan, just do the exact opposite of what he's doing. Right. Get them all right. Now, I'm going to pull out our winner that was for the game show. Tia, come on out. She won our game show. NTF. Now, what was that you said as the video was playing? Because we asked if you guys were cheating while you did the game show, and what did you say? I'm too good. I don't need to cheat. So that's what she said. She's too good, so she doesn't need to cheat. Let's see if that's true in the rest of the game show part coming up in future days. Now, if you guys are just joining, Kintia, we had a winner for our ticket draw. That comes on Monday. So if you got your red package, on the red package is a red ticket, and there is a winner. So can you read that number one more time for us? 688141. 688141. If that's your number, let us know. You're going to win a $5 gift card for a business in New Hampshire, wherever you want. Um, and we're also going to put that number in the comment section below so you guys can check to make sure that that was yours or not. Well, thank you so much, Tia. You can head on out. And for our last little bit, I'm going to call Mrs. Eleanor out, and she's going to tell us what's happening next week. Next week's important. Okay, you may look. We have a box. It is next week Bible Camp. Bible Camp! Arts and Crafts is awesome. We're going to have so much fun this week, but next week is Bible Camp. Yep. So, they can sign up online. Online on our website, so www.fbcnewhamburg.com. Yep. Sign up to get a box delivered to your door if you want. You can buy a shirt. Now, what if they already have a shirt? Could they buy a second shirt? They could buy a second shirt. And how much are the shirts? Only. Only five dollars. Five dollars for a shirt. Like, you just open this up. That's it's almost the same amount that you pay at a dollar store to get oh, no. a cool FBC shirt. And then, actually, parents don't have to do the wash as much. That's true. 
Okay, now did you notice there was a dinosaur on this box? You know next week in Bible time we're actually even talking about dinosaurs. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this one is? What do you think? A paper one. A behemoth. Did you know behemoths are in the Bible? We're going to be talking about that. They're also so, in Canada's Wonderland. Yeah, there's a ride the behemoth. There is. So next week our theme is Incredible World Amusement Park. Aww. I know. I know. Like ready for like roller coasters? Now I'm not really a roller coaster person because I get motion sick, which is not great. Yeah, I don't but, think you, but next week, a lot of fun. Next week, a lot of fun. So we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Sounds good. But so if you can't go to Canada's Wonderland, just come to Bible Camp. But you need to sign up now. Sign up now so we can get your boxes ready and deliver exactly. for next week. Okay? Sounds good. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. All right. So you've heard all of our game shows. You've met our staff. You've been to our first ever CFBC TV. Now, a couple announcements. Make sure that you only use the Monday craft because tomorrow we're going to do the Tuesday craft. Our drop-in camp is on Wednesday, so you have to have a pair with you. It has to be family, um, but you can come anytime between 1.30 and 7. 1.30 and 7, and we are going to have stations set up in the field that are very camp fun and at the top of every hour, so that means at like 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock, we are going to be doing silly songs would be late. So you're going to want to make sure you come, but you do have to have a pan and you have to come together and it's your job to social distance responsibility. What if it rains? What if it rains then? Unfortunately it's canceled and we might do it again another time. So we'll have to see. But if it rains, don't come because we won't be there. All right, it has been so good to see you. We miss you, but we're glad we get to do CFBC TV and let us know if you have any questions about future camps. All right, guys, can we have one more spin out by our staff? Can you spin us out? See you later. Bye, kids. That was...